It's allowed. It's allowed. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, if you want. It's not like required or anything.
everybody. Hope that you guys are doing well. Welcome to Friday Night Live. We're back. We are back. Uh, we are in some new digs just down the road from where we used to be. If you're watching this online, which is most likely what you're doing, it may not look a whole lot different. But I hope this finds you well. I hope that uh, things are going well. This is longer than I was anticipating seeing you guys on Friday. Uh, but life... Uh, has its way of unfolding in different ways, I think, for all of us. So I hope it's been unfolding in a way uh, for you and your loved ones and your family and your community and your humanity and everything around you in, in a wonderful way. Um, it's been wonderful to be able to meet a number of you over these last months. Um, really, this year, starting in, in February, I've been doing a fair amount of touring, and uh, it was so heartening for me to be able to thank you guys all for coming up at the gigs and saying, I was watching you on Friday night during the pandemic. I mean, that meant so much to me because uh, this can be a very uh, one way situation. And um, I was feeling the love coming back, but it was so great to meet uh, you guys uh, all around the world. I mean, it was, it was really incredible. Um, so thank you guys. And um, anyway, we're gonna move on with some music. We got a bunch of folks in the house and I just saw the chat right before I started. I can't see it right now but just some of the places, so want to shout out uh, in hopes that I can come there and play some gigs. Melbourne, Australia, um, that was the first one I saw about it. So big shout out to Melbourne, I love Australia. Um, Las Vegas, Boston, Canada, um, Buenos Aires, Argentina, I've never been there, I'd love to come there. Cleveland, Oakland, what's up Dub Nation out there? Big congratulations to everybody in the Bay Area for that uh, amazing fourth championship last night. Milwaukee is in the house, Vermont is in the house. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, just down the road from my birthplace. St. Louis, Central West End. Somebody's in the Central West End, which is but a few blocks from here. Detroit, Chicago, Tacoma Park, Maryland, Tampa Bay, and some other places. So thank you guys for being here. The first tune I played was on Green Dolphin Street, and that was uh, Blue Monk by Thelonious Monk, one of my favorites. This one is a Wayne Shorter composition. I was very inspired by hearing some of our students at Open Studio today, actually. And uh, one of them played a different Wayne Shorter tune, but it made me think about this tune. So I hope you enjoy Footprints. This is going to be a little different version, just to let you all know.
you, thank you. In a Sentimental Mood by Duke Ellington, the classic ballad. I hope that puts you into a, a good mood for Friday, for the weekend, for a little bit of chilling out, um, all that kind of thing. It's been, uh, what has it been, like over 100 for how many days now? We need some chilling out here where we're located in St. Louis, so hopefully you guys are... Uh, not as warm as we are here. Warm in your hearts. Warm in your hearts, as we say. So, Friday night, you guys know how we do it. No, you probably don't. You might have forgotten. If you're new here, welcome in Much Love family. You're amongst um, family here. Uh, we meet. We used to meet every week on Fridays. Then we met a little less frequently. Now it's quite a few months in between. But this is Friday Night Live, formerly Shelter in Place. I'm Peter Martin, and um, I'm coming to you live. Oh, I was supposed to bring... Um, we forgot to do that. I was going to bring a newspaper, like today's paper, to show everybody that this was actually me and it was here, like, but then we were afraid it might look like a hostage situation, <laughs> which it definitely is not. I'm here of my own free will. Um, but we meet from time to time on Fridays, come together for music and for a little bit of just camaraderie and global love. Um, and we do this on a... Um, on an optional, what do we call it? A virtual ticket basis. So if you'd like to, after the show now, whenever you can go to petermartin.live, that's a strange URL, but it works. We think it works. Petermartin.live and pick up a virtual ticket. And what we do is 30% uh, of all of our ticket sales go to a nonprofit every week that we do this. This week, we are supporting Amnesty International, specifically the, the things that they're doing for Ukraine relief for the refugees and the horrible situation that continues to unfold um, for you for Ukraine and I just want to give a big dedication and shout out to all all the Ukrainian folks But especially the musicians uh, we have some open studio members that we've been in touch with that are very near and dear to our hearts um, I had the pleasure of traveling about four years ago to Ukraine and playing at the jazz festival in Lviv So a lot of love for for them and um, we're all pulling for them So anyway, you can go to Peter Martin live and support that and support what we're doing here at open studio the new studio and all that kind of good stuff almost some music
All right, that was a little emotion in motion. Also, actually, it's kind of taken over as uh, it's the theme song to the You'll Hear It podcast. Do we have any You'll Hear It podcast listeners online or in the house tonight? That would be awkward. That would be awkward if we didn't. Hopefully we have some. If not, we'd like you to invite you to our podcast. It's called You'll, You'll Hear It. I co-host it uh, with Adam Manis, and uh, we have a little bit of fun. Uh, the, the moniker for it, uh, the byline, the subtitle is um, Jazz Explained. So it's You'll Hear It. We realize no one know what the hell we're talking about with that. That's like an insider jazz phrase kind of. And so we decided to add Jazz Explained, which now that I'm saying it is a super pretentious title and kind of a little bit over the top. But anyway, it's actually a lot more fun and less dictatorial than that sounds. Um, so join us wherever you get your podcasts, as they say. Um, if you didn't like that tune, don't bother because <laughs> we played at the beginning and the end of, of every episode. So I'm looking over at the clock. This is a one hour show. That's how I've always done it. And um, we kind of, I kind of hit on that, that magic, I think, from what people have told me over the last couple of years. They're like, we love it. No, it's, and I'm like, oh, you want me to go longer? They're like, no, 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 it's the perfect length. So it's a little Friday, Friday night situation. And look, big shout out to everybody, Australia and folks in Europe and stuff for staying up or getting up early. It's super honored for, for you to be here with us. And um, thank you. Okay, so right now I'm gonna play. Um, yeah, this is really directed, talking about Australia. So we have a student here at Open Studio. We did a live workshop today over Zoom with um, where a couple of our students played for me and I talked and we had a bunch of folks uh, from around the world, uh, our members. And a young man from Australia, he's, he said he's 11th year and I figured out that's like a junior. So he must be 15, 16, maybe probably 17. Um, music student there. And he's one of our, our members and students. And he played this tune this morning uh, for all of us. And he did such a beautiful job. So um, I kind of reviewed it a little bit today. It's one of my favorite compositions. I know a lot of people love it. It's called Round About Midnight. And it's written by Thelonious Monk. So uh, big shout out to JJ in Australia. Uh, and he got up in the middle of the night for, to play for us because it was like 1 o'clock Eastern. So it was like, I don't know, 3 in the morning or something crazy in Australia. So this is dedicated to JJ, Round About Midnight.
so much. Thank you guys, everybody, for being here. I will see you hopefully in a couple of weeks. Go, hopefully I'll see you in real life. If you go to peterbartmusic.com slash tour, you can see if I'm coming to a town or city new year doing a little Europe tour and going out on the West Coast in July. So I'd love to see you if I'm gonna be around. And please go to peterbarton.live. If you enjoyed the performance and wanna support what we're doing here at Open Studio Live, we've got a lot of great things planned for you guys. And with your support, we can make it all happen. Uh, coming up this fall. So go to petermartin.live and you can buy a virtual ticket. Um, and we've got recession tickets. We've got, are we in a recession? Whether we're in it or not, we've got, we've got recession tickets available starting at $4. So we got them all the way up to VIP level uh, and you can support Amnesty International as well. Thank you guys so much. My name is Peter Martin. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and piano. All right.